Hello YouTubers and welcome to the B&M exclusive re-release of the Journal of Impossible Things and 10th Doctor Sonic Screwdriver. So uh, this set includes 78 printed pages, leather look cover and 21 blank pages for you to fill. And we've got a picture of the prototype, the 10th Doctor Hulk pointing his Sonic Screwdriver, 10th Doctor years 2005 to 2010. Include Tenth Doctor Sonic Screwdriver with blue LED. Thank you. And the classic series uh, Doctor Who logo and Doctor Who packaging. Uh, so it shows off um, the product nicely, and you can get it for a great price at seven ninety nine. Uh, this box is absolutely huge, though, considering that the product is only this size. There's a huge amount of wasted space. I mean, on the back, uh, it's the same information as the front. So, really, why is this needed? Well, well, actual the product and company information. And just to see how big it is, it's bigger than the War Doctor Sonic Screwdriver box. So, uh, let's open it and take a look of it out of the box. Alright, so here it is. So let's talk about the Journal of Impossible Things. And I just love this design. It actually does look like leather and it even feels like leather. And although it is plastic, uh, but I just love this. And I love anything that's leather or looks like leather. Um, so we've got the strap here. And it's a nice long strap. And it opens up just like this. Uh, unfortunately, character have put their legal information on there. Though I'm glad it's on the inside, so from the outside it looks alright. So if we open it up, we've got the... General of Impossible Things written there, and even on the inside, this really nice sort of texture make it feel like sort of felt or some other kind of material. And then we've got 78 pages of absolute beauty. It is absolutely amazing. I'm just going to show you a few of these, uh, just because uh, if I showed you all 78, we'll be here all day, but you can see. Just how many there is, there's the Dalek Emperor, one I particularly like. You can see all the written information on here, which is actually taken directly from the actual prop or book, whatever. And you can read it. It's a little faint and a little small, but it is readable. At least some of it is. Got my finger in the way. And you can see here the blank pages, which I'm going to personally... Uh, leave blank just because I think it looks nicer like that and it's more accurate to the prop. It is pretty small. It's less of a journal, more of just like a notebook. Um, just for comparison, uh, here's like a uh, bus mask sort of holder or something. Actually, even more. Oh dear! That's f that's falling in place. Here's a, a Doctor Who DVD and just comparing the size to it. So you can see here yeah, when it is strapped up it does actually look like an actual journal or book. And it looks really nice. It keeps it shut very well. Uh, you can see the strap just goes through here and uh, just tucks in just here. So it does do a pretty good job of keeping it shut. And I really like the feel of this. It does feel and look very, very nice. Uh, the advantage of, you know, it being smaller than the actual prop is you can actually take it around uh, with you. It does slide into a pocket very easily. And it is a very, very nice prop. And you know, you might as well just buy it and buy two of them. 
keep one on the next box and just keep one like that. Okay, so then we have this, which is the miniature torch LED uh, sonic screwdriver that is included. I actually really, really like this Sonic, actually. So, for one, it's more accurate to the actual prop in size than the toy was, which, as you can see here, which is much, much bigger. Uh, though something I do prefer on this one is uh, the crackling is much more visible on this Sonic than on the others. On, this is the one that I'm modifying, so you can't see the crackling as well. But if I just show you if it focus, there we go. You can really see the crackling on the blue line is there. That is detailed incredibly well. Uh, there is a battery compartment. It's not too bad because there is no screw hole that you can see. Um, and the good thing about this is it does have a bright blue LED. It's a very bright blue LED and you know, that is actually accurate to the prop because the prop um, does not make sound effects. They are added later. So if we if I put the camera down. So if we pull off the bottom section, it's very stiff. There we go. So if you pull off the bottom section, you've got the screw there in order to take this section off to change the batteries. Um, I wish that they'd have, they'd have disguised it a bit better, like maybe make it this part here where it would just pull off or something. But it's not too bad, I guess, in terms of screw through holes and battery compartments because at least the screw is hidden. If the screw is hidden, I'm a bit happier. So it is nice and they do have the button on the hat, on the slider, even though it doesn't slide or anything. Unlike this version, which I had to modify to put the button here. So, overall, should you buy this set? Yes, it is an absolute steal at seven ninety nine, and it's I think whoop, the Sonic screwdriver accessory is much better, much more useful than the Masker's plastic ring that came with the end of Time Wave. So that's my review of the journal impossible things and sonic shoe driver and i'll see you next time